Hello and welcome on today's story. My name is Peter. I run today's story. We just going to see how we can be able to add this WhatsApp order button. How how this will happen and how to work. We are going to use a code snippet, and once we add the code snippet on our website without installing a single plugin, is that we're just going to have this button on the single product page. This will work mostly on a simple product. Uh, on click on it will have this button now. On click on this, it just direct you to this page here where if you're using a phone to just direct you to whatsapp if you're using um, uh, the web to just direct you for you to be able to log in to uh, to whatsapp and you could be able to continue the chat this message itself uh, to have this quoted uh, I, I would like to press an order for this product then we have the product and we have the product price here and to have even uh, the current stock uh, stock quantity if you have the stock managed, you have this uh, stock here, and we have the product link. You can be able to refer the product link using uh, the message sent to you through the WhatsApp, and you can proceed uh, and maybe place the order, and you can consult with the customer and all that. That's what will happen. And the best thing about this, we are not going to install a single plugin. If you know how to install the code using function.php, no single plugin will, you will need. But if you don't know how to use the function.php, there is so there is an easy way to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing first, you need to head over to the dashboard. You need to have the cost snippet plugin installed in your WordPress website. If you don't know how to install this plugin, head over to the plugin, uh, select a new and install the cost snippet plugin. Uh, let me head over here and show you and uh, show you the plugin you're just going to use in this tutorial. So here you just need to search for code snippet. Here is the plugin, it's called Code Snippet from Code Snippet Pro. Uh, just install and activate. Once you've done it on the dashboard menu, now you're going to have this button here. Uh, for snippet on click, it should get direct you to this page where you have a list of all the snippet you have, but the one you're going to use is called uh, WhatsApp Inquiry. Once you click, you just click Add New, it just direct you to an empty an empty here so just give it a name and if you need this code head over i have included the link on the description click on the link it should direct you uh to this page you have it uh here we have it and once you have once you're here just click on this button it should copy the code without missing any point head over back here paste the code and remember to save and activate the code snippet once it's done you can head over uh, here to the product and select the product you just want them to have the button so once you select that single product uh, this single product it should have now this uh, checkbox here and we have the whatsapp number field just select it now and remember to save the changes so the other thing is that if you want to customize the message here you can head over here to allow number 51. Here we have the customization of the message that is being sent here. You can see, you can be able to customize from here in between these two semicolon, uh, customize this text here. You can also customize this text and how you want it to happen. If you want to customize the button here, this button text here, you can head over to allow number line 81 here. That's why we have the this WhatsApp order uh text here you can change it to whatever you want or and when you've done all the changes remember to save and activate if you want to change uh the button here we have a simple css uh here you can customize it you can choose the color you want uh here and once you remember when you once you've done all that remember to save and activate the changes once you've done you should be able to see the, uh, the impact and the changes on the front end. Hope you didn't learn something out of this tutorial. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Till next time, adios.